What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we're going to be doing another trailer versus actual game and we're going to be looking at the Buzzy Bees update. So this was the 1.15 Java update and all it did was bring bees and a few related blocks to the game. This was a very small update but we still wanted to compare the trailer and the actual game. So let's look at the trailer now. So, as you can see, 1.15 is a pretty small update. It is only bees and a few new select blocks, and the trailer actually did a pretty good job of showing off what is new in this update, and that is mostly on the mechanics of bees. So, as you just saw in the trailer, and then as you just saw right now, as bees go to a flower, they actually change texture, and that is when they are pollinated. And this can help your crops as well, because when they fly over the crops, they will drop the pollen on the crops and that will help them grow. Uh, I haven't used bees too much myself in the actual game, but I do know that that is how they work and they actually are very useful in speeding up your crop growth. Doing the analysis of this trailer, I actually saw maybe I should be using bees a little bit more to help out my farms because they are definitely worth it in producing more crops so that it's easier to survive. Pretty much the first thing they showed off was at the very beginning in the bee's nest and that is where the bees will go inside. Of course we can't see inside at, in the actual game, but we do know the bees go inside there and that is where you can get honey and honeycomb. Uh, of course the other thing they showed off was down by the farms they had the uh, beehives, which is where you can actually make the beehive and the bees will come there and spread pollen around your farm field. So that is how you get bees near your farms without actually having to destroy a hive and anger some bees. So you can actually see the bees dropping pollen on the crops right here and you might see the little green uh, stars that go up around sometimes and that is because the pollen is landing on them and they're actually growing a little bit. The trailer also did a good job of showing how bees react when uh, danger comes to their hive or the bees nest and they actually attack the illager in the trailer. I did anger some bees when I stole some honey, but other than that, if you're not going to mess with the bees, they're not going to mess with you. So of course this update was mostly useful for the honey block and you can acquire that by getting honey from the actual beehives. You can acquire honeycomb by using shears on the beehive and you can acquire a bottle of honey by hitting a bottle on the beehive. What's interesting is that the honey block is probably the most useful part of this update, mostly for redstone usage, but they didn't even show off the honey block in the update trailer. They did show that the villagers were selling the honeycombs and they were carrying around the bottles of honey, so that was of course important, but the honey block is, in my opinion, the most important part of the update because of how useful it is in redstone, mostly in flying machines. And because it is such a small update, that is basically all we have for this week's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We have a ton of different Minecraft content, so you'll enjoy some of our stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.